We're going to begin uh, by heeding Stephen Covey's advice, begin with the end in mind. So we want to paint a picture this morning of what that high-performing team looks like, what they do, the right work that is cyclical, driving continuous improvement. So we're going to delve into this morning the team learning process. And for the sake of this process, I want you to imagine a team of teachers. You can pick the grade level, pick the course. They could be a team of art teachers or physical ed teachers or career tech teachers or math teachers or third grade teachers. You pick the team. But the teachers on that team share content. And they deliver that content to similar kinds of kids. And they've been given at least an hour carved into their contractual work week for protected collaborative time. So in other words, the team makes sense. It's just common sense that we would work together. And we've got time to do the work. Then the question becomes, well, what does the work look like? What is the right work? Well, the very first step any team should take if they want to impact student learning at a higher level is to get crystal clear on the answer to learn what. Among all the teachers on this team, from person to person to person, are we speaking with one voice? Are we crystal clear on exactly what our students must know and be able to do? The skills, the knowledge and concepts they're going to learn, the dispositions we want them to acquire. That would be character traits, work ethic, 21st century skills we want our kids to acquire as a result of their time with us. And we recommend per course, or per, per subject of the grade level, about eight to 10 essential skills per semester. So you can stretch that out over the year and this year long course, our kids are going to learn the 16 to 20 most important things to their success, not only in this course, but as they get ready to go up to the next level of learning. And if you back it down, then you're going to say, well, in this quarter, we've got about four or five essential outcomes that we're going to focus on in the first nine weeks. And then we're going to back that down unit by unit. In this first unit, we're going to teach what are the one or two essential skills that we're going to focus on in this unit. So the teams of teachers get crystal clear. Now, when I had the privilege of working with a fabulous faculty that embarked on this PLC journey, they looked uh, at the PLC process and specifically at this team learning process. And at the elementary level, they had to acknowledge that almost all of us teach everything. You know, if I'm a first grade teacher or a fifth grade teacher, I'm teaching reading and writing and math and science and social studies. So how are we going to do this for everything we teach? So we made a commitment up front within our first year, we would not try to tackle all the subjects. Let's just pick a starting point or two that we're going to focus on this year. So we looked at our school data, trend data over time, and we asked, are there any areas of the content that we really need to focus our improvement efforts on? And in our school, the answer was, yep, there are two. One was reading, and the other was math, reading and math. But our faculty, again, was really savvy. And they knew it's probably not a good idea to tackle both at once on the first year. So let's pick one of those to start with, reading or math. What do you think? Where should we start? We started with math. Not because we thought it was more significant, but our faculty thought it would be a little what? easier to reach consensus to agree with our colleagues on what's essential in math and so we did start that journey in math so first few weeks of team meeting time they were focused on math kindergarten first grade second grade third grade and then we had vertical dialogue are we building a strong scope and sequence in math and we went through the entire process in math kept going with math and then we begin to weave in reading and over time writing and science and social studies so today they're working from clearly defined list of what's essential subject by subject, but we didn't tackle it all at once. Now at the middle school level, if you're structured into content specific teams or at the high school level, content specific, you can spend about the first six or seven team meetings and, sh and you should have been able to really get crystal clear on learn what with your colleagues. So depending on what level, you may take a little different approach, but the first step is let's Let's get clear on learn what. 